Jackie Ludlidge here with Creative Scrapbooker Magazine and a Technique Taster. Today I'm going to make this uh, cute little uh, Thanksgiving card or fall theme card or actually any kind of a theme. And I absolutely love this stamp set from Penny Black called Autumn Splendor. That's where I got this um, scarecrow that you see right here. So that's the stamp set that I'm going to be using. And this leaf uh, design that you see in the background, I used a Penny Black a Creative Dies, um, this leaf one, and that's the actual size. It's absolutely fun. I love the effect that it gave. To color it up, I used um, Lindy's Magical Shakers. These are powerful little pigment ink, pigment powders. Um, that really pack a punch. So that's how I colored the background paper. Then, of course, I colored my uh, gorgeous little scarecrow using some Prism Studio uh, watercolor pencils. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off by adding, um, mixing together the turquoise and the yellow powders to create a green that I like. So I'll just pop a little yellow in there. These are so easy to shake. I love the little lids that they have, it's awesome. Take them together like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Grab my paintbrush, mix it all up in there. Still a little turquoisey, so I'm gonna add some more yellow. Once I get the color that I'm happy with, I'm gonna go ahead and just paint it on this piece of cardstock. This is a heavy cardstock. It's 130 pounds. So we'll let, just let that soak right in there. And we'll put it aside to dry. Once it's dried, um, I've cut it out with a die cut. You can see a, a stitch die cut. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect shading. So then the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, take my Creative Dies, the Penny Black Leaf one that sees right here, and I'm going to punch it out three times from the die cut machine, just like that, okay? And then I'm gonna color the top one just exactly in the same manner that I did before. So there you see it. Isn't that gorgeous? That turned out so great. So I'm going to um, actually put adhere that onto there, but before I do that, I'm gonna take the second one that I die cut out and I am going to adhere it on top because I would like it to have a little bit more dimension. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The next thing that I'm going to do once I have it here together is I like to edge it so that the edges are not white. So I'm gonna use a green Sharpie pen or marker to do that. Next, I'm gonna bring in two more pieces that I have die cut it out and I'm going to layer it all on here, just like so. There you go. So the base layer is complete. I stamped this with um, some pigment ink, black pigment ink, and I used some fine, clear embossing powder to emboss it. And now I'm gonna color it with uh, my prism watercolor pencils that I really really like the mat that I'm going to use this is how I like to uh, watercolor so I'll spray a little water on my mat let's start off with the orange I will color this in just ever so slightly dip it in some water and then go ahead and color it it is that super duper simple. Next technique that I like to use when I want to go darker is I actually take the wet paintbrush and I dab it right onto the watercolor pencil and then I can look at look at all that concentrated that I can put right there and I want to put more concentrated on here. Grab another color and just keep going just like this. Color everything in. The magic of television. <laughs> I have a completed one that I've already done. It's right here. So now I'm gonna put some foam adhesive on the back and stick it down right there. Just 
pop him on like that. Next, I'm going to uh, grab Savinia sticker sentiments. So let's go with walk your path. I'm going to stick that down onto a black piece of cardstock so that it's nice and thick. And then I'm gonna use these scrapbook adhesives by 3L um, 3D foam strips. Oh my gosh, these are a lifesaver. I absolutely love them. Adhere that into place. Now the final touch that I'm going to do, you'll notice these little tiny, um, they're called dew drops. They're from the Robin's Nest Creative. I am going to adhere a few of those into the leaves. There you go. We have the dew drops now in place and uh, they will dry nice and clear. Now, I just felt like this needed to pop out a tiny bit more so I went ahead and I grabbed my Tonic Studios Nouveau Crystal Drops and I added black drops, black uh, dots all over behind the scarecrow just to make it a pop a bit more. I made some big and I made some small. And there you have it. Adhere that onto a card front and you have an adorable little card to give to somebody. Happy scrapping, everyone.